that we should have a light lunch, and then we should spend some time in my bed so you get to know my body. And then we'll, of course, have to discuss your fees, so name your price. I don't have a price. Everyone has a price, Roxanne. Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Ouch. You want me to build a monument to your ego? That's the going rate. You know, it's strange. I'm not ordinarily attracted to women like you, but I've got to say, you are very sexy. Women like me? What the hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, you know, bohemian, earthy, older. Well, how old are you? That's irrelevant. We're talking about you. I'll pay it, by the way. You're offering me $50,000 to have sex with you. No, no, I'm offering you $50,000 to sculpt me. The sex would be free. Unless, of course, you felt compelled to pay me. Wow. Mr. Van Horn, I have to say, I, I may be poor and desperate, and you may be rich and moderately attractive, and these may be the best strawberries I have ever had in my entire life, but I don't care, because I find you pretentious and sad, and I'm guessing you're overcompensating because you're probably under-endowed. And let me also just say that it will be a very, very cold day in hell before you ever get me into your bed, because I may need the money, but I don't need it like that, and I don't need it from you. So, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll be going. You're the one who wanted me to come, Roxanne. Now, here you are, getting exactly what you wanted, and you turn it down. What for? Fear? Pride? <laughs> They're useless emotions. Get out of your own way, Roxanne. You want someone who gets you. Someone dark and mysterious who comes to town in a cloud of scandal and stirs up sex and trouble. Well, here I am, just like you wanted me to be. How did you... Don't question it, Roxy. Just go with it. That's what you do when a prayer is answered. Just take it. Be happy. Who the hell are you? Me? I'm just a humble patron of the arts. But I am a demon between the sheets. <laughs>